Number 33, the block in this figure here lies on a horizontal frictionless surface and the spring constant is 50 newtons per meter. Initially the spring is at its relaxed length and the block is stationary at position x equals to zero. Then an applied force with a constant magnitude of 3 newtons pulls the block in the positive direction of the x-axis, stretching the spring until the block stops. When that stopping point is reached, what are letter A the position of the block, letter B the work that has been done on the block by the applied force, and letter C the work that has been done on the block by the spring force. During the block's displacement, what are letter D the block's position when its kinetic energy is maximum, and letter E the maximum value of that maximum kinetic energy. So the first thing that you might want to do, and it's not correct, it's wrong, is that you say, oh, I have some force to the right, let's call it F, and I have the force from the spring to the left. So when F is equal to the force from the spring, then the block will stop, right? Not wrong, that's not correct, because when the forces are equal, that doesn't mean that the block stops, it only means that it will stop accelerating at that point. However, when the forces are equal, the block will keep moving to the right until it starts going to the left. So that's not correct, don't go this path, okay? So how do you do this? You have to notice that the kinetic energy should be zero when the block stops, right? And we know from the theorem from work and kinetic energy, we can relate the work with the change in the kinetic energy. And in this case, we have two sources of work. We have the work from the, the, the force, let's call it F, which is just the, the value of the force itself times the distance X. And we have the work from the spring, which is equal to one over two K. The initial position is squared minus one over two K the final position is squared. So those are the two sources of work that we have. Notice that the initial position is zero, you see? So we can cross out this term over here. So we can use the theorem between work and kinetic energy, so we can find this position x over here. So let's write it down. So work from the force plus the work from the spring is equal to the change in the kinetic energy and again the change in kinetic energy is zero because the initial kinetic energy is zero and the final is zero as well so this is zero so we have that fx minus one over two k final x is squared this must be equal to zero so since there is only one position like this x over here is the same as the, the final x I can erase this f over here so we just have to solve this equation over here and you can see right away that x equals to zero is one of the solutions but that's not the solution that we want because we are analyzing the problem after it starts moving so mathematically speaking this answer is correct but it doesn't apply to our physical problem over here. So I have to find the value of x. So it's not complicated. Let's just send this to the other side. So f times x is equal to k x squared over 2. We can cross this x with this squared over here. And then we can isolate x. x is equal to 2 times f over k. Okay, so we just have to replace the letters by the numbers. This is 2 times 3, and k is 50. So the answer for this is equal to 0 0.12 meters or 12 centimeters. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, the work that has been done on the block by the applied force. So, we, we, we know the equation that we should use. Sorry, this is other B. So, the work 
done by the force is just F times X which is 3 times 0 0.12 and this is equal 0 0.36 joules so that's the force from the uh, the, the work from the force for letter C, you want to know the work that has been done on the block by the spring force. It's just this equation over here. So, the work from the spring is equal to 1 over 2 kx squared. So, this is 1 over 2 times 50 times 0 0.12 squared. And this is 0 0.36 minus, sorry minus 0 0.36 joules so that's the answer of letter C for letter D uh, what are the blocks position when its kinetic energy is maximum okay so we can rewrite this equation over here uh, sorry not this, this equation over here and now the kinetic final kinetic energy is not zero anymore so for letter D we have that F times X minus K X squared over 2 is equal to the kinetic energy. So if you want to know the maximum value of this, the, 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 of this function, do you see it? This is a function. This is the, the value of this function over here. If we want to know the maximum value of the kinetic energy, we just have to derive K in function of x and equals it to zero and then we find the position at which the value uh, its maximum the value of the function its maximum so we're going to take the derivative of this function over here and it is of course f minus kx and this we, we need it to be zero so we can find the position at which the function is its maximum so x is equal to f over k so 3 over 50 and this gives us 0 0.06 meters so that's the answer of letter d the kinetic energy is maximum when the position is 6 centimeters for letter e we want to know the max the value of that maximum kinetic energy so we just need to use 0 0.06 in this equation over here so the kinetic energy the max its maximum value is equal to fx minus kx squared over 2 so this is going to be 3 times 0 0.06 minus 50 times 0 0.06 squared over 2 and this gives us let's see this gives us 0 0.09 joules and that's the answer of letter E